Hello. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to set up REST on Linux. It's actually even easier than setting up C++, because we don't have to compile anything from source, really. So, the first step is to go to rustup.rs. I'll have the link in the description. While that's loading up, the general workflow we're going to have is we're going to use Visual Studio Code for doing the actual programming, and the Rust Analyzer plugin for that is very good. And as far as actually installing Rust, we're going to use RustUp instead of the package manager because RustUp is generally better and it will keep Rust up to date with the actual latest release, no matter what operating system you're on. So this is also applies to Windows and Mac OS. You go to this website, follow the instructions in the little box here, and you should be able to install Rust pretty easily. Another thing is it doesn't require root access, if you care about that. Oh, so I have to get curl in order for it to work on my machine. And just press enter once it gives you the prompt. And it will go ahead and install Rust for you. In the meantime, we're also going to install Visual Studio Code. I'll have the link for this in the description as well. And I'm going to be downloading the .deb file because this, this demo is on Ubuntu Linux. And I'm just going to save it. And we'll use the command line in order to install that. As you can see, Rust is installed now. So to get started, we need to add $home slash .cargo slash bin to our path. I'm just going to copy that, edit my.bashrc, And put this at the bottom. And save and quit. Then we're going to go install Visual Studio Code. Kudo dpackage hyphen i code. Just press tab. Once we get Visual Studio Code installed, we should be nearly good to go, besides installing the Rust Analyzer extension and testing things out. Now that that's done, we can open her up and install the Rust Analyzer extension. Here it is. And all we need to do now is create a crate, which is how Rust manages its packages, and test out that it's working. All right, and then we can type code in the command line in order to open code to a folder. That's a neat shortcut for you if you find it useful. As we can see, language server is not installed yet, so let's download it. And there we go. It's also complaining about Git not being installed on my system, but that's just on my system. If you want Git support in Visual Studio Code, you'll have to download it using the terminal again. But now we can run this Hello World example, and that's pretty much all there is to actually setting up Rust. The rest is up to learning how to use it. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.